Now, is life easier for you on your own or as part of a couple? In today's papers, Lulu has revealed that after two divorces these days, she's quite happy without a man as she enjoys her independence far too much. She says, my life is easier. Easy. I suppose that sounds selfish, but uh, maybe that's what I am. So uh, w when it comes to us being independent, I mean, obviously you were with Bobby for such a long time, then you found yourself on your own. Yeah. Do, do, do you enjoy being independent or have you been independent all along? Now I do. I'm a never say never girl where a man is concerned. But I mean, these days, yeah, I do get chatted up by younger people. But I mean, I've got one rule, you know, I can't go there with a fella that I could have possibly given birth to. <laughs> and now we're talking. <laughs> no, Carol, you're in a different position, really. Regularly. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because now I'm talking about 50-year-old guys, and I could have possibly of giving birth to a 50-year-old guy. Whoa! Yeah. So then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so the other end of the spectrum is, mm. is the older guy that is my age, and they don't have no. working... How do you know? Because you never try them well, out? Well, they tell you that's the first thing they tell you. <laughs> when they go and spend a penny every two minutes. <laughs> you know, they, you know, They're too old for you. Men of your age are too old for you, actually. Well, they, yeah. yeah. And have you, have you enjoyed finding your independence? I didn't at the beginning, actually. Um, I, this month, it would have been... I would have been 42 years married, and I married my childhood sweetheart, who I, who I was with... Um, since I was 17. Did he allow you to be independent? I mean, I know you were financially, but did he, because Bobby did a lot for you, didn't he? Uh, everything, everything. You didn't the want only to be. Place... You liked relying on him, though, didn't you? I did, yeah, yeah, it was great. The only thing that where he couldn't touch me is when I was on television or on stage, and I did my own thing. So mm -hmm. um, that was where I was my most powerful. But it took me three years to, to grow up, really, after I lost Bobby. Um, and then go on my first date. And I was terrified. I was mm. really terrified. See, because you've never been on your own, really, have you? No. That, and that's, that's a, the, the problem that some women have. And I, I've been on my own for most of my life. And actually, I loved it. I loved being single. And I was quite, I was quite looking forward to getting old, sort of, on my own, so I could just, you know, wear elasticated waists <laughs> and, and sit around <laughs> drinking whiskey all day and, you know, not worrying about having a little dog and go for a walk or maybe buy an old people's home in the south of France yes, and I want you to rent do it that. out and, you know, have discos. And we can and all go in it and then Mark can run it. I was looking forward to yes, that. But... and give us our medication. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we can, we can <laughs> dress up yeah. in fantasy outfits and he can come on like Nurse Ratchet with his... <laughs> we can ring a bell. bell. For that I reason, reason it's that reason reason life, time. Was, more, oh, life was more simple, actually. Um, on, on my own, it was, it was easier. Sure. And it was easier, but now it's better. I mean, it's more, oh. it's more difficult, because living with someone isn't easy sometimes, you know, especially mm. when you only have one bathroom like we do. And... It isn't easier, but it is better, and it's mm. more fun. You know, when you've got someone to do things with, it is... Do you have to compromise? Have fun. you compromised? Um, no, we just do what <laughs> I want to do. <laughs> she no, does we compromise. don't. At least when I tell Tim that he can't do a poo in the downstairs toilet, there's three others, there's two others, but Carol tells him he can't do one in the only bathroom, so he had to, <laughs> he had to go to McDonald's to go to and the toilet. Uh, <laughs> no, he doesn't. He did, he told me. <laughs> Once. Once, when we first got together and we didn't know each did other very her. well. It's all fine now, it's all fine. Oh, but, God, you're you know. sounding like Gillian McKeith. <laughs> <laughs> Denise, you, I mean, you've pretty much always been in, in relationships. You've not really been on your own too long, yeah, but you're very of, independent. I've always gone from, from one to the other, and in a way I regret that. I wish I had had some time out. I mean, I think that... <laughs> Why I've been able to remain independent to a degree is because I've very often been with actors, and obviously I've been with Tim for, you know, 25,000 years now. So, um, so I've, I've been able to have the independence within that relationship because we are apart all, all, you know. I couldn't have existed, I don't think, being in a relationship like Scylla and Bobby were, where they literally did everything together and you were often 24-7 together. Mm. Um, but you have other people do things for you all the time. You're I wish quite I was dependent more, I wish on I your was father, more, I am instance. very dependent on my father, and I dread that because because, you know, with my financial phobia, which is a documented illness, where I can't deal with the... 
deal with the money side of things and it's pathetic really and I do worry about you know if nature takes its natural course and dad goes before me um, then th then what, what, what am I going to do? But so he tries to take me through everything because I don't even know. It's, t it's embarrassing. I don't know who mortgages with anything. He tries to take me through everything and I get what they call my video timer face of when we had videos and people would try to teach me how to set the timer and then I'd be going... La, 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 la. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> um, but that's and just it's... pretending. That's like, you know, you're just, you're just playing up to that blonde stereotype. I'm not you playing up to it. I can't do it. No, You don't want to know. You can't Look, be bothered because everybody else will do it for you. Oh. Be spreadsheet Susie who does a spreadsheet every day about everything that comes in or out as and the actor. We're, Denise, we're going to go to a break so you can go and wash your finger. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Time for one final break, but uh, don't go anywhere because when we return, we'll be joined by the ballet dance diva Wayne Sleep. Back soon. <laughs>